Hello, my name is Albert Lee. I'm a member of the Exologic product management team. This presentation, I will discuss about operationalizing Exologic and primarily Exologic Runbook. We will cover getting started with Exologic and what the Runbook is all about and then overview of the content of the runbook. This presentation is intended for new and existing Exologic customers who are operators and users of Exologic machine and cloud administration. From customer's perspective, Exologic lifecycle begins right after Oracle ACS hands over the system to the customer upon successful installation of the Exologic machine. So when we hand over the system, the process includes the operational Exologic machine that is fully configured with Exologic Elastic Cloud software. And also included is the deployment summary that provides installation detail about the software versions that, that are installed on the system, about the detailed uh, network information, of, about all the IP addresses, URLs, port numbers, DNS information, NTP servers, and so on and on, as well as some of the key important uh, notes, such as from my Oracle support. So from that point on, how can we help customers operationalize Exologic? So Exologic Runbook is a quick start or reference guide to operate and maintain the Exologic virtualized environment. It's basically what users need to do next at the end of the uh, post-installation process. It provides all those necessary information for the user to be able to access the system, what kind of uh, system administration procedures that they need to follow, uh, some of the best practices, some of the best practices in terms of lifecycle management, and there are a number of existing documentation within the Exologic document library, as well as many important notes on my Oracle support. How do you access this information for many of the procedures that you need to perform? So that basically is the basis of the Exologic Runbook. And it is available for download on my Oracle support now. So the rationale behind the Runbook project is to provide consistent operational guidelines to all our customers. As you know it, Exologic systems are basically engineered systems in the sense that every single system has identical configuration um, uh, for all Exologic uh, configurations. So it's really important that we provide the consistent operational guidelines in order to properly um, operate, maintain uh, the uh, system. The runbook also defines specific administrative tasks, such as how do you follow through in order to start up the system or power down the entire rack. And as I mentioned about, there are many information that exists out there. On this slide, you see that Exologic Machine Owner's Guide has about 300 pages of information. Cloud Administrator Guide has about another 200 pages or so. Um, MOS Notes, there are hundreds of MOS Notes out there. Those are basically distilled down to about 45 pages in the runbook. So from the runbook, it provides concise information and it's basically as a landing document that points you to all those very important spots within the document library, MOS notes, and so on. And also important to note, 
that it is a live document such that we will be updating with new information as needed. So let's take a look at what's in the runbook itself. There are nine chapters altogether, and chapter one provides basically just introduction to Exologic. If you are new to the system, we describe about what versions of Exologic Elastic Cloud software are available, what kind of hardware versions are out there, what combinations can you have in terms of hardware and software and so on. And then we walk through the system components within the Exologic machine, such as compute nodes, storage nodes, InfiniBand switches, and so on. And most importantly, we describe about very, most importantly, we describe about Exologic networks that are essential for administrators to know so that they will be able to access the proper network to perform administrative and maintenance tasks. And chapter two provides system information. Basically, it references the deployment summary. In the deployment summary, there are lots of information about physical and virtual components as well as the uh, URLs to access the system and cloud management facility. Once you have an understanding of what makes up the Exologic machine and all available networks as depicted in this diagram here, now you need to know how to access the system. There are physical components that you need to access to perform system administration, such as the compute node's host, compute node ILOM, or integrated lights out manager, uh, storage nodes, InfiniBand switches, uh, the Cisco switch for gigabit ethernet management network, as well as to monitor the power distribution unit so that you can monitor the health of the uh, Exologic environmental information. Since this is a virtualized Exologic system, you need to understand about what makes up the Exologic control stack. That is the built-in control stack that provides cloud administration functionality. And from user administration standpoint, there are guest VMs, or also known as guest V servers, on Exologic machine. Guest V servers may have external network as well as internal network. You need to know how to retrieve information about those network IP addresses in order to manage the life cycle of the, the guest V servers. Chapter four provides system administration procedures, such as how do you start up and shut down the whole system, the whole Exologic rack, as well as how do you start up and shut down the control stack? How do you perform basic management and monitoring through the Exologic control facility? And then we also provide a section on some restrictions and guidelines that are essential for administrators to know. And finally, we discuss about security uh, associated with the Exologic platform within this chapter four. Chapter five describes about cloud administration. How to get started with cloud management, cloud administration. When the system is handed over to the user, it will only have the control stack which is ready for customers to perform cloud administration. What are the necessary post-installation tasks, such as creating accounts and quotas and 
and creating some um, guest fee servers based on the templates. How do you register the templates and so on? And then once the guest fee servers are up and running, how do you perform lifecycle manage life cycle management of the guest fee servers? And then also we provide pointers how to customize these vServer templates and so on. So chapter six provides maintenance procedure. How do you perform instrumentation? There is a tool called ExaCheck. Basically, you can run this tool to look at what is the state of the system. We also provide information about auto service requests associated with Platinum support, which is included with all engineered systems. Lifecycle management tools, health check, and how do you perform patching? And in case there are some issues with the system, how do you perform basic troubleshooting as well as form action plan so that you can file service request? An example would be that there are some, there is an issue with the system. You will need to perform exa check. And you will also need to gather the log files by running exa logs in order to open the service request. And all of those information are provided in the chapter here. And chapter seven provide information to backup and recovery procedures, while chapter eight provides links to the disaster recovery procedures. And finally, chapter nine contains all these online references, resources, uh, training, and so on. So let me summarize. Exologic Runbook is basically a landing document that provides you with standard guidelines to operationalize this Exologic virtual environment. You can use this document as a quick start guide. You can use this document for your daily operation. You can also use this document as a handover process from one person to another in the case that you have a new staff coming on board. It provides users with easy access to all these best practices pertaining to Exologic. The entire Exologic document library, as well as many of the MOS notes that I mentioned. So please, download this Exologic runbook from my Oracle support. It's available now. And then frequently, check back in for updates. Thank you.